and sound starts is usually start because of the upper lip. So lower frequency sounds that you have you have them doing the lower frequency flapping and the air blows through them in kind of a wider volume in, in the sense that the the volume is wider and then it can be slower and when you have a higher frequency the air must go through them faster so they can respond more more more, more faster flopping frequency that is but this is not very easy to do unless you have to blow them really hard but if you reduce the um, the lips the lips used for vibration that is then the air doesn't need to be that much and only small air stream go through it go through them between them to produce a faster frequencies and typically what we do is that we 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 draw we draw the upper lip slightly slightly so that's that kind of change the aperture in a sense but it's actually changing the upper lip in the uh, vibration action to reduce upper lip in the vibration action so many times you see people playing from low to high high notes and you notice that their jaw and the upper part of the mouth seems to be moving moving like this action <laughs> As if they are blowing from low to high. So the two lips is, is doing the, the changing of the position. And then the air seems to be blowing from low to high to low to high. catch 22 because when you do um, the smaller aperture you want to be able to control the lips to form dash that aperture opening and the fast airflow can blow through it and this increase the intensity of the air and that will usually flutter will distort the um, the lips in their uh, in holding position so you learn to gradually being able to hold that consistently and at the same time to blow the air stream consistently at the same speed and volume so this put this vibration will continue and the sound will be clear in that in that frequency so lower frequency is easier because you don't need to stiffen your lips too much to hold that in the special aperture. Just let them flop freely, flap freely like But when you have higher frequency, you need to kind of steady jaw, a little stiffened jaw and against the upper lip moving the position between the upper and the lower side of the mouth so it's not like up and down open and close your mouth that's very hard to do but rather than than pushing and withdrawing the two sides Ha <laughs>